All right, we're recording. Good morning, good afternoon for those of you who tuned in. Uh, I'm Jay Bissell, and to my left on the screen is the one and only Terry Combs, and we are not two regular guys, uh, <laughs> although we are, but a shout out to Terry. He just wrapped up his two regular guys podcast. But the point of this session is this is a smart marketing webinar for apparel decorators who are specifically DTG printers. Um, many of you are our customers. We're grateful that you tuned in today. We're grateful for your business. Um, Terry, anything to start us off with? Any ideas, notes, or updates? Well, yeah, you know, uh, I, I have noticed uh, a few uh, decorators doing this. And, and hey, if you are, are able to be in your shop or, or uh, maybe your shop is a work from home, if you're able to produce goods, I noticed some folks uh, are, are out there saying, hey, listen, if you, if you have customers and you can't print, we will, you know, we're happy to print for you. You, you can send us the garments or, or use our garments and we will drop ship to your customers. And of course, they will remain your customers. We will not try to <laughs> pursue them after, but, but there are, you know, the community is really coming together, Jay. And, and uh, I, I think, of course, some people are saying, yeah, I, any business I could get to keep my staff going, they're, they're, they they want to do that. But it's also uh, really coming together, helping one another, you know, as a, as a, as a garment decorators community. So I know that, uh, that um, printed threads down in Fort Worth has offered to do printing for people. Uh, the uh, Tom Round out at Envision, com in Dubuque, Iowa. Uh, and, and both those, uh, those guys have, uh, they do screen printing, they do direct to garment printing, they do embroidery. So, and, and both of them, are great contributors to the yeah. industry and they're doing this out of the out of, really out of the goodness of their hearts to to help people maintain their customers so uh and, and there are lots of people out there doing that and and if you as a as a listener here you have that opportunity get out there on social media and to uh, all all of the decorators out there who need some help uh tell them that you're available to to print and drop ship and and help them maintain their customer base so that's that's, that's my start that's a great start. Let me build on that. Um, two points. Number one, uh, Harry has let us know that if we have our customers who get in a pinch, who get stuck, that we have, um, we have that same opportunity through Equipment Zone. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, I will let the home office in New Jersey facilitate that. So if you're in a position where you're stuck or you cannot fulfill an order and it's a DTG order, uh, specifically, let let us know. Uh, you know, email Terry, email me, but coordinate it with our home office in New Jersey. Um, and Harry has said that you know he's obviously got some resources and could help somebody out in a in a pinch. So you know, and Jay, along those lines, that just for anybody who who's out there and and their suppliers are closed down because you know, depending on what state you're in, if you're in California, if you're in uh, New York, uh, your suppliers may not be available. Uh, Equipment Zone is open and shipping they brought in lots of uh lots of inventory on inks uh printhead cleaning kits things like that yep. uh, just just to service customers and if you need uh, tech support uh the support staff is also there and ready to take your calls and uh you know hey maybe maybe you work with another another dealer or distributor uh if, if you need assistance uh, you can you can reach out to equipment zone 100%. And the other idea that came to mind, that's smart marketing move, smart marketing tip that I want to make sure we share right out of the shoot was coordinating with those other larger apparel decorators who maybe are exclusively screen printers. They are in a different, you know, they're in a different lane than you are. And they're used to doing 5,000 units, you know, 10,000 units, you know, large orders. They're having to scale back and they would be thrilled for 50 pieces, 24 pieces, sure. 10 pieces. And so you might do yourself a favor by coordinating a, uh, you know, a screen printer's survival, you know, guide, which is I can be a resource to those people and I can print one and I can do it today and I can have somebody be, you know, drop ship it or ship it directly or have them pick up. So, you know, that, that was a tip that came up with a lot of DTG printers who are helping other decorators in these times who aren't used to doing one of something or, or doing fewer than 12 units. So, and, and, and you know, Jay, um, and, and that's a relationship that after this is over, uh, that could very well continue because 
you know, you and I talk about this a lot. It, it's an Amazon world. It's or, or Skynet, as I like to call them, <laughs> because when the machines take over, it will be Amazon. The, but uh, but you know, uh, me as a screen printer, when I teach screen printing classes, I, I I get asked this all the time. You know, what's what's happening with the with the customers, the market? It's it's changing. It's yeah. it is a world where where people they they want they want it now. They want it custom. They want one or they want five. They want so that's a relationship that you can have with a screen printer who's used to doing volume exactly. that, uh, that they can offer that customer that comes in and wants five pieces because they're, they're, what the customer says is, well, why can't you do five, you know, and list off all those online companies that can do five pieces. But here's the advantage you have over all those, all those big decorators is if I sent, um, well, I'll use Amazon as, as an example. If I sent them a really crappy file, guess what? They're going to print it and send it back to me. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> and, and, and because they're thinking, hey, this is what you sent me. We as right. decorators are going to say, hey, you know what? You sent me a 72 DPI file. That's because you, that's, that was the easiest file for you to send. I know you have your own logo. Send, send that to me at 300 DPI at full size. And guess what? It's going to come to you. You're going to do a quality print for them. And, um, and you always have the advantage over these big, online decorators because you're going to take that extra step. You're going to do that service that, um, that, that personal service that, that those guys just don't do and not capable of doing. hundred percent. I love what you said. And, and building on that relationship, making sure that you've invested the time before, during and after. And oh, by the way, that trend doesn't change through the current COVID-19 coronavirus crazy times that we're faced right now. The power of one is still the power of one. And, and quite frankly, if you can see some seeds of optimism in our voice and hear, hear that in our voice, it's because we truly passionately believe that you, you are probably more nimble and able to pivot quicker and have an opportunity to keep that press running. Be able to print, you know, you, you might focus it this way. And I've been thinking about this since we announced this session. My goal might be to print 10 shirts today. My goal might be to print one shirt today, okay? But whatever that number is for you, focus on that and say, okay, how am I going to do this? How am I going to print profitably 10 shirts today or 10 tote bags today or 10 aprons or whatever it is? And, and then that's your drive. That's what's going to launch you forward and say, okay, I got to talk to this screen printer. I'm going to go talk to these local folks. I'm going to go talk to this construction company. And by the way, at the end of this, Terry and I have compiled a list of about 20. I, don't, I, I forgot to count it. Uh, <laughs> bullet pointed out industries right now that are booming that need help and we're going to talk about that towards the end of, of our of our session today because um, we've it, all seen that hiring immediately yeah 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 <laughs> so. and don't and don't think you know there, there's been a couple times when i've been like okay maybe i need to go call amazon and you know pick up some part-time hours as a delivery driver um so far i haven't needed to do that i've got you know rock and roll and the usa behind me so <laughs> And as long as we well, can. Well, if you start doing that, Jay, you'll probably come to my house because I am a regular <laughs> purchaser on Amazon. Do you, do you have one of those smart buttons or whatever? Do, are those <laughs> things still exist? Like you just need to hit the tide button and Amazon knows and they're there in 24 hours delivering you soap? I, they, I know they're listening. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, we've had some great feedback and let me, let me reiterate for those of you that are listening, there are 65 people tuned in live. Thank you very much. That's powerful and awesome in every way. We want to treat your time seriously and give you some value. So let me remind our listeners that the Q and A is open, but let's hold your questions till about 45 after the hour. And then we'll take some questions live. If you want to comment right now in the chat, I have the chat open and you can easily um, chat a little quick something. I'll see the note and I'll remind Her uh, Terry if there's something to say. Harry did, by the way, say hi and great job, guys. So um, let's move forward. Uh, you, you know, let me, let me stop you real quick. Um, one thing that, because we're talking about, hey, how to, how to find business out there. I was talking to uh, someone yesterday uh, who, who is a decorator, but just getting into direct garment printing. And, and he, what he said to me was, you know, a lot of people are sitting on their hands today, right? Yeah, in, yeah. in all areas. He said, how quickly can you get me a DTG printer? I said, well, I could ship one to you tomorrow. And he goes, well, because my business is down right now. So I think this is the perfect opportunity to really learn how to use this machine. And I thought, good on you, because yeah. this is going to end. This is going to, this is going to come to an end. And uh, folks like that, 
th those are the folks that are going to hit the ground running. Yeah. So. And listen, this is not a pitch to try to convince you to buy a oh, printer. No. And I know that's not what you meant. I just wanted to make sure everybody listening, don't, don't tune us off now. We're not, that's not what this is about, but that is a smart play. That is smart marketing because you, 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 you're sharpening the blade. You're sharpening the saw to, to get prepared to launch or relaunch. Um, and I just got to say, there are a lot of people that are in a position that are doing that. Uh, Jeff, I talked to Jeff Morgenthaler, our colleague. He said he's having a really strong march. And I was like, wow, seriously? And he goes, yeah, really? And I was like, that's fantastic. Um, you know, both for us as a company, for him personally, but awesome for those people who are taking that move, like you had said, that you talked to that apparel decorator. They're thinking, how do I prepare now for what's about to happen? And certainly, let's, let's be honest. Let's be, let's be sensitive to the fact that there are going to be places uh, geographically in the U.S. that are going to be affected longer than other places. I think, I think the big mega cities like New York City, they're going to be in this for a while. They're going to struggle more than say, um, you know, Wyoming, Nebraska, middle of the, you know, smaller communities. Um, but we're going to get through this. We are, you know, we are, we all know we are. It's just that uncertainty in the middle. It's that chaos. It's that yucky middle part where we just don't know how long this is going to go. You know, Jay, and, and last week we, we talked about this and it doesn't matter what type of decorator you are. Uh, there are those things that you wanted that, that, that you that you put off learning to do. And maybe you're a screen yeah. printer and you never printed with gels or, uh, you know, this is the time to do that. So yes. so that when when business, you know, and, and it's not going to gradually pick up, I think it's going to rock it up for yeah. all those people who who didn't place an order but really need product, uh, it, we're all going to be inundated and which will be a great thing. Uh, but, and then you're going to be buried again and, and never try those new things. <laughs> so uh, I know exactly what you're saying. And you know, what was funny is we had so many great comments of people going, what? They were asking all kinds of questions after our last webinar, when you talked about adding glitter and how oh. to do that. <laughs> and so we had like five comments immediately. Wait, what? Glitter? You can add glitter to DVD? Do you think I should tell wow. how to do that again, just in case? I think there are quite a few listeners. If you could be short, it would be valuable. Okay. Yes. Quick and to the point, how to do glitter. You're going to print a, a, a white underbase. You're going to print color on top. While it's still wet, you know, you're going to go to Michael's or wherever and, and, and just sprinkle glitter on there. Don't overdo it. Just sprinkle glitter on that wet ink. Heat press it shake it out over a trash can and and you have a glitter print on a on a DTG image and uh, you know we've been doing it uh, uh, for 15 years so yeah and we've been doing it specifically for DTG printing for four or five years it's not brand new yeah we just have to be creative and, and I love the full point that you're making about now is a great time to figure out those things now is a great time to figure out are you ready ready <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now it looks like time. money. <laughs> this is money. How do you, how, look at that. I'm going to zoom in. Sorry. I just want you guys to see this. This is, that is a, a beautiful print knockoff of a, of a uh, high top. I won't even name the name. You can find these online. Um, and it's blank. There's no logo on the other side. And we haven't print the other side. You can see that site hasn't been printed yet. That is the, now is the time to figure this out because it's not easy to do. And everybody that sees it, we can barely keep these in our booth when we're at a trade show. People have offered to buy them several times, yes. several times. I'm not exaggerating. People know that those are worth over a hundred dollars. You know, when you can create a pair and customize both sides, you know, I'm, I'm a rookie. The first time Wade and I tried to do this, it took us an hour. Um, I'm sure that we did not know what we were doing and we were experimenting along the way. We could probably get that production time down to maybe 30 minutes if we were hustling and kind of laid things out and got organized. But how smart is that to do that now? And, you know, I was teasing last time about this, about, you know, if you, if you were trying to find some seriously big customers right now, some seriously big tech customers or a big pharmaceutical customer, you know, if you sent that VP of marketing, one shoe with a custom note, handwritten note inside and had it special delivered and said, Hey, I know you're going through some crazy times right now. I'm trying to keep my doors open. In fact, I've sent you one shoe. I'd like to let the other shoe, you know, be here for us. You know, I'm just trying to get my foot in the door. And I know that's a cliche, but that's the kind of powerful cliche marketing that works. And you're going to get the attention. You're, you're going to, you have captured the attention 
of, of somebody very important inside of a, of a larger company that normally probably would just be like, hey man, I'm too busy to talk to this cat. I, you know, I've got spam. I've got more emails and more offers for webinars and, and, and more inbox junk than ever. You know what's going to cut through that clutter? This. Exactly. This. My note's going to say, my note's going to say, I'd like to let that other shoe drop on your desk for a brief meeting. <laughs> exactly. Now, and, so and many Jay, great ways. Yeah. When you talk about how long it took to do that, that's because that, that print is right to the edge. Uh, we, we did some samples for uh, Dan Clement for his, uh, his book on DDG printing. He said, I just want a logo on there. Well, that took, I mean, that oh, was like printing right. a white t-shirt with right. a left chest, you know, so correct. it was kind of wham, bam, and done. But, Super you know, cool. and, and, and along those lines with those, with the shoes, you know, uh, everybody and hopefully all the decorators out there will, uh, will um, think this way because every time I see something like that, my head, in my head, I'm always like, uh, man, I can sell this to this person and this person and this person. Yeah. And, yeah. and Jay, you, you, we're, we're dance dads. That doesn't mean we are dancers, anybody. There's not a troupe called the Dance Dads. <laughs> I'm but if there was, Jan, I would be in it. But uh, but every time I, I see those shoes being printed, I, I'm thinking every dance studio in town, yeah. all you have to do is put their logo and some really cool graphic on there, and they would buy it for, for every one of their dancers because they all do hip hop. Yes. And to have those yes. shoes custom, and 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 by the way, those dance studios don't care what it costs. Oh my trust gosh, we trust have, uh, us, trust we have the dance checks. dads. <laughs> yeah, nothing like four or 500 bucks a month. For what, again? <laughs> what about the costumes for, costumes, for the last dad. event? <laughs> yeah. This is for costumes, dad. You didn't wear them out? <laughs> yeah, what about, the, what about that pair? <laughs> yes, it's true, it is 100% true. And anyone who knows me knows that if, if, if I had a DTG printer, if I did, I would definitely have a shoe platen and I would be printing these for marketing purposes every day. I would be targeting people specifically. I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even be try to sell shoes. It just wouldn't be my jam. Other people, dance dads looking for that action. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Totally a great idea. But I would be using that as, as a marketing tool, as a way to get in the door, as a way to be different. And let me, let me build on this point specifically right now, we're, uh, Zoom. Oh my gosh, people didn't even know what that word was three weeks ago. Zoom, now everybody knows Zoom, go to meeting and all these webinar hosting solution companies. Your inbox, you're getting more and more requests to participate in a, in a webinar, in a, in a listening in on, on a, you know, a, a podcast. So we're getting more and more digital media, more and more of that now than ever. So we need to pivot a little bit. We meaning the apparel decorators and the, and the DTG printers, we need to pivot away from that a little and say, how can I be different? When everybody else is trying to get you to listen to a webinar, or join this podcast, what am I gonna do that's different? I'm gonna print on something different. I'm gonna print on a towel, something that I could easily roll up, something that I could easily mail that's not gonna be expensive. I could easily attach a note to that and say, hey, we're going to get through this. We have always gotten through our challenges here in the U S and we're going to get through this. And I just wanted to leave you a note. I'm open for business. Um, you know, I've got some marketing ideas I want to share with you. Let's figure this out. Let's, let's, let's call me or something, you know, something that, that knocks on that door virtually, but breaks them down because they have a tangible, you know, dimensional product in their hands, not just another email, not just another voicemail. Does that make sense? Absolutely, Jay. You know, uh, it's funny you show golf towel because when I saw the very first DTG printer print fabric, and it was before anybody knew there were going to be DTG printers, it was 16 years ago. And I remember saying, because I'd, I'd already been a longtime printer, I said, if, if I were still an active decorator, I would buy this machine and only print golf towels. Because... <laughs> Because, I mean, because I've screen printed literally tens of thousands of golf towels. And, and they were probably it, fun to screen print, right, Terry? <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> because every print gets a little muddier. But with DTG, Ooh. they're perfect prints. But, you know, the, you know the golf pro where they make their money? You think they make their money try, trying to teach me to putt? No, not at all. They make, they make their money in the pro shop. And... A golf towel with that color photograph, or not photograph, but the color illustration of the golf course, yep. and, you know, 
hanging from the bags. You, you don't think a golfer would pay ten dollars for that? Oh, oh, and and guess what, Terry? Not just ten bucks, but for five dollars more, we're going to personalize it with your name on it. Exactly. There you go. Boom. Yeah. Let that land. So I do want to give a quick shout out to our to our friend, our colleague, our our Photoshop and Illustrator mentor. Dane Clement happens to be tuned in today, and he just said thanks for the shout out, boys. Um, Dane, your book is amazing, and I knew it was amazing when our our entire team, especially those that use Photoshop and Illustrator, they were like stealing the book. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> we we did get a call, Dane, from the office saying. Does it, do, everybody that has one of these books, you need to bring it back because people are trying to order them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, if you don't know what we're talking about, uh, visit our online store and look for our training guides. And we have a DTG training guide. That's uh, an amazing, amazing time to, ho to hone your Photoshop and Illustrator skills. But specific to that is it's, it's tips and tricks and suggestions and training for DTG printers who use the Epson F2100. So it's like you could not dial this in better and you couldn't find a better instructor. So I know that's a little, a little bit off the path. We're not talking about marketing, um, but you know, you, you need this because your graphics, you know, if they suck, it's quite visible. <laughs> and, and, and Dame, by the way, uh, uses the Epson DTG product, so. Absolutely. All right. So that was a shout out for Dane. Um, anything to talk about? Uh, a lot of those folks that are listening right now don't know that we've prepared a few slides. I surprised Terry this morning with a few things just so that we could still be talking and people could, you know, hear us, but it'd be nice to show a few things that we're talking about. Um, I, I want to transition to that in just a minute and say, we're about 20 minutes after we're going to go for about another 20, 25 minutes. Um, talking about a few of the things and a few of these specific ideas for DTG printers. Uh, but then we're also going to have some questions at the end. So hold your questions till then or write them down if you think of something. Um, I've still got the chat dialog box open. Um, so if you have something you want to comment quickly, um, but don't ask a deep question because I'm trying to, you know, I've got three things going on here at the same time. We're trying to provide value, uh, ideas, marketing tips, tricks, suggestions. So uh, two things that I want to build on. Number one, we talked last week about R&D, my principle of rip off and duplicate. Um, I'm going to give you an example of that in one of the slides. What that means is it's an opportunity for you to see what others have done and then modify the idea and make it your own. Clearly, I'm not talking about specifically stealing. I'm talking about be, be a, a aware, be an observer. Um, make sure that you understand that one good idea is gonna to lead to another good idea, which is the purpose of today's webinar. Um, Terry, I know you've, you've seen a lot of good ideas. I know you guys, over the course of the last two or three weeks with the two regularized podcasts, you've seen what others are doing out there. Maybe you could start us off by talking a little bit about, sure. um, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it Tiny Little Monster? Is that the? It, it is, uh, I believe it's Pretty Little Monsters. Pretty little uh, monsters. Sloan Coleman. Uh, she's in uh, the St. Louis area. Area. She is uh, promoting something called Here for Good, and and it's talking about local businesses. We are here for good. We are open for business, or or maybe we're modified open for business. But uh, gee, I think you know a little bit more about the details of how this works. But people are are grasped beyond this. I, I mentioned Tom Brown at EnvisionTees.com in Dubuque, and he is he is all in on this whole concept. And but, but tell us a little bit about how, how it works, Jay. Well, listen, I, I, I wish I knew a lot more about it and I'll dive in, but I'll give you also Shelby Craig in Tennessee. He's been a big driver behind this. And, and the, the, the reason I love this idea is they're trying hard to keep their shops open, but they realize that this is bigger than just their shops. This is right. their communities. So in St. Louis, in Tennessee, in Iowa, what they've done is they've identified that they're going to create a specific graphic that's regional. So it would be something specific to Iowa, specific to uh, Missouri, specific to St. Louis, specific to Tennessee, exactly. And then they've set this up so that you basically print a, a, a generic you know, here for good, and then localize that with a graphic that's going to be something that's meaningful for Arizona or meaningful for something for New York or New Jersey. Then what they've done is created an online presence. And I'm not sure what tools they're using. I don't know if they're using something that they built themselves or order my gear or Inksoft or any of the, you know, great providers that are out there. Um, and they've created an online store. And basically it's one, two, three, pick your color, pick your business, and then, you know, 
ship it, pay basically. And so they've created this tool where they're going out actively and looking for local businesses to then be part of or recipient of the profit of that shirt. They're selling the shirts for $20. Then they're going to donate $10, but they aren't donating it. So Terry, if you were to buy a t-shirt, you would pick your color and then pick your business. So Terry would say, I want red because, you know, he's a Chiefs fan. And he would pick a St. Louis business, probably ribs, a ribs business or a restaurant, probably a pub that serves a few of these, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and 10 bucks would go specifically to that business. Yeah. So you get the shirt as a commemorative shirt. You're, you're promoting a local business here for good and it's regionalized. And right now I know that Shelby and Tom and, and um, um, I just blanked on her name. What is um, Sloan? Sloan, they are, they're expanding this. Their goal is to have several printers in every state and their goal is to raise a million dollars for local businesses. I mean, that's what we're talking about. That's exactly. a huge idea. That's an initiative that's going to be growing and growing. Um, and there's no reason that a DT shop couldn't participate in this. There's no reason that you couldn't figure out your version of this idea and localize it maybe a little bit more. Maybe <laughs> you do it for just a city. Sure. Well, and, and, you know, Tom Brown, uh, his is specifically for Dubuque and uh, it's not for the whole state of Iowa. It's, it's just for businesses there in Dubuque. Go. And, and what better way to do this than on direct garment? I mean, it's, it's, it's the perfect marriage. So, uh, but, yeah, and I agree, Jay, it's just a matter of how, and, and you're not stealing this, you're, you're stealing the, the concept you know, because it is a great concept. So how can it make, you know, maybe, maybe you're on main street and for every business on main street, you know, they, they participate and, 100% and love that. Especially if you were in a historic main street type of place, sure. you're trying to keep main street open. Hey, I can't figure out wall street and maybe you don't have a ton of money in the market. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, doesn't matter. Right. You're trying to save main street. And if you are in a local, smaller regional place, you could totally make this city to city. And, and it doesn't have to be here for good. It could be some other catchphrase. Totally love that idea, dude. That is just right. powerful. That is what well, we're you, talking about. And my first thought when you and I were discussing this yesterday was uh, Old Scottsdale. Anybody who's ever been to, to Scottsdale, Arizona knows Old Scottsdale. That's where you go to see the antiques. That's where you go to, to, to eat. That's where you go to have cocktails. <laughs> but, that's where, that's but, where you go to find tourist t-shirts and turquoise. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right? Am I right? Oh, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. Because this used to be the Wild West. <laughs> oh, boy. It's not the Wild West anymore. It's Scottsdale. <laughs> Scottsdale. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip into this. Uh, hopefully this will work. And I'm going to share a, a slide deck so that people can see this. And, and you know, uh, while you're doing that, Jay, uh, it, we had a conversation on, uh, on my podcast, Two Regular Guys, where we uh, we said today, hey, everybody go out and order from your favorite local restaurant and, and go pick up, you know, it's the, because we want them to be open, right. uh, you know, when this all ends. And, and so uh, this is just an offshoot of that, supporting local businesses and, and help, helping people stay alive, stay afloat. My, my son lives in Manhattan, New York City. And uh, I was just and, gonna ask you to tell that story. Well, Thanks. yeah, and, and uh, there's a, apparently the bars in New York City uh, can deliver. <laughs> and so there was a, one of their favorite watering holes um, published on their website saying, we, we, we just need to make $1,000 a day to keep everybody on the job. And, and my son immediately placed an order because he goes, I, I, I like those guys. I want them all to, to be able to keep working. And, and I said, that can't be true. They, they're delivering mixed drinks. And he goes, dad, I, I'm, I'm drinking one right now that just got delivered. <laughs> and then he said, if, um, wait, so let me get this right. Your son is day drinking now. Is that what I just heard? Well, yeah. Cause he's pretty much, uh, stuck in his house. He, okay. <laughs> he, uh, in his apartment anyway, I'm not it, judging. I'm just being funny. <laughs> well, he did right. say that if you order, um, enough drinks that your bill is $50, they will also bring you a roll of toilet paper. But, uh, <laughs> oh, that's so catchy. That's but, perfect. Exactly. But, uh, you know, along the lines of, uh, you know, um, think outside the box, you know, yeah, uh, that's, yeah. that's, I know that's your thing, Jay. No, it's not just my thing. It's our thing. And we're just trying to push the boundaries and we're in some crazy times right now. It's super, 
no one could have prepared or, or, or I should say no one, almost no one would be ready for this type of a, of a slowdown. And, and I have a friend, my, in fact, two people have now made this reference to me. My cousin, who is like a brother to me, since I only have a total of four cousins, and I'm, I'm, I'm really close to this one cousin who grew up with in, in Southern California. As you know, I'm a beach bum kid, Southern California. Shout out to Newport Beach, um, Balboa Island, you know, the, 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 the OC, as we say. Um, <laughs> it, he, he, he and someone else I know that have made this reference, he goes, you know, listen, all of us drive in LA. And if you've ever driven in a major city where it's, where it's, where it's really, really compressed and compacted, um, think about driving during rush hour and all of a sudden the car in front of you just slams on their brakes. Just, I mean like full stop slam on their brakes and you've got about what 10 nanoseconds to do the same thing. And the car behind you, the same thing. That's exactly what happened about seven days ago, maybe 12 days ago, depending on where you live, everything just slammed on the brakes and we're still seeing all of the people behind us still slamming on their brakes. Right. And it's a total shutdown. And there's no way to go forward because all you can see in front of you are for miles, cars parked, slammed in front of you. So eventually those first cars are going to break through. They're going to start ramping up again. And eventually so are we. And I just hope that some of these marketing ideas that we share today, things that we could do as things start to creep forward, we're going to be more prepared and we're going to be able to do things today specifically with our printers. So can I click forward? Can you see the screen? Does everything look right? Yes, yes okay. it looks perfect. I, I can see us and I just didn't know if it was all looking good. So, hey, look at that. <laughs> Welcome from Arizona. You did not share that one with me. Before. I surprised you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, let's talk about what we see. First of all, I want to give a shout out to the lower left, my good friends at Brand Fuel, a very successful promotional product company on the East Coast in Raleigh, in, in also in Virginia. Also, I think they have offices in Boston and who knows, Timbuktu. But keep calm and look at that. Look at that. Stay six feet away and it's on a tape measure. How <laughs> awesome it. is that? Those guys are the best. They're so creative. So I'm constantly watching as a student of the game, constantly observing and looking for ways to then apply that, you know. So here's the first idea I had. First of all, you can find 100% cotton scrubs. You could put something on the front other than an equipment zone logo that says something specific to we love nurses. We love healthcare providers. We love healthcare providers in Phoenix, Arizona, make it more specific, you know, something that's going to be regionalized and on the back, stay six feet away, social distancing, you know, maybe it has a little picture of a, of an icon with a tape measure because it's so visual, something, maybe it's personalized with the person's name on the back, something, but I just wanted everybody to know that's a DTG printer. You can definitely find scrubs, tops and bottoms that are hundred percent cotton. They're super easy to print. And right now is an amazing time to be appreciative of our heroes, those healthcare providers, those nurses, those orderlies, the people that clean the hospital, not just the, you know, big time doctors, everybody right now that's working around the clock. Literally, I have family members that are, that are nurses and they're pulling 13 hour, 14 hour days back to back to back to back. My sister said she barely has time to even find a bathroom because they're just, you know, with everything, not just, not just the, the COVID patients, but everybody, you know, there's still people that are sick. People are still breaking their legs. Babies are still being born, right? So look for those hundred percent cotton scrubs. Great way to appreciate that first market of healthcare providers. And, uh, you know, of course, at the top of the screen, Terry, you can see that there are high visibility and reflective apparel. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how well or how it does not <laughs> print well, or what would my options be if I have a construction company or if I have uh, a gas and electric company or somebody that's looking for that type of apparel? Well, for direct to garment printing, uh, most of these uh, products are, are polyester, but uh, with, with the ones that you're showing here, the yellows and the oranges, if you're printing with, uh, with black or navy or a dark color ink, uh, maybe a maroon, uh, you can easily print on these products. Now, it, it's a process to print on, on, with polyester on a DTG printer, but light colors with, with basically without a white underbase, you just use light pretreat, like a, a product like Image Armor's light, uh, light pretreat, 
and it prints just like a, a normal regular garment and so it, it, the complications come when you're trying to print a white underbase on on a polyester right. and uh but but these garments would be perfect for for an, an easy print on a dtg printer and and you know jay as you were mentioning Yes, there are a lot of businesses that are shut down, but there are a lot of businesses that are that are booming right now. You know, you mentioned nurses putting in 13 hours. How, how about the folks at your grocery store? Uh, I, I went for a run this morning and about uh, 10 minutes till six, I went by Albertson's grocery store, which is Safeway uh, for people on the West Coast. And there were 40 people standing outside waiting to get into the grocery store. I mean, how many eggs can you people hoard? It's, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, I, I'm thinking about the folks who work there. And, and, you know, when I go in there, it's the same staff. I mean, the, the manager, I yeah. see him there day and night. I'm thinking he, he probably hasn't been, he probably hasn't had a day off in, in, in a couple of weeks and uh, probably hadn't had a meal at home in uh, in a couple of weeks. So uh, there's opportunity there. There's a big sign on the door, hiring immediately. And Jay, let me give you an example, because as I said, I am always, whenever I see a situation, my first thought is I should do shirts. Yeah. Everybody out there, you should we're, be thinking the same thing. We're blessed and cursed with that. <laughs> blessed and cursed, exactly right. But uh, I, I noticed the last time I was in the grocery store that part of the staff, all they were doing were going around cleaning. They, yep. they were disinfecting and everything off the shelf and cleaning, putting everything back on the shelf. And I thought, you know, they should be wearing shirts promoting the fact that that we are sanitizing this store all the time. And, yes. and, and maybe the shirt just has Albertsons on the front and cleaning crew on the back. And I, you had, you had another example when you and I were discussing this. Yeah, the other we were day. the same thing. I was just saying the clean team, you know, the clean so that, team. Like, exactly. And, and, that, 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 and, and, and they, they were, have these, they have these new employees are bringing all these people in basically to do these types of jobs. Uh, they should be wearing decorated apparel for a couple of reasons. The main one, is for me as a customer to go in there to feel com comfortable that that this place is being cleaned top to bottom day and night. So that it's an opportunity. It's a total opportunity. It's a winner. And that local um, that local whether hardware stores are open. Um, the the grocery stores, as you said, specifically to grocery stores. Um, they may have consolidated their hours. Like at least it, it, you know here the, the stores near me. I have a I have a a neighborhood Walmart that's not a big Walmart. It's like just a grocery store. I have a Safeway near me. Both of them have changed their hours to basically 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, and, and they've also dedicated every morning. It started out as just Tuesdays and Thursdays, but now it's every morning from 6 to 8. They're saying are for high-risk seniors and anybody that needs to assist those folks that they can have the store to themselves as much as other people would follow the rules but that they could have that store to themselves so that there are fewer people in the store specifically so that someone who, who might feel nervous about going to the grocery store because, you know, they're, they're a high risk patient anyways. Right. So, right. you know, it's, it's thinking through that and then, okay, so could that store do something special for that audience? You know, think of the branding, think, think of creating, you know, a, a, I don't want to say a senior kit, but I don't know what else to call it other than something that's made specifically for that audience as opposed to the general audience. So the smart marketer is going to think in terms of groups and things of, in terms of demographics. It may not be something for everybody, but it's going to be something that's hyper specific. Like we need to be thinking almost like customer obsessed. Who could I help the most? And can I print something? that would make this message that much more obvious and the recipient that much more grateful. Does that make sense? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so let me, let me go to the next slide um, and want to bring this topic up. Um, the last three, four, five days, I've been following this story closely. Um, I am not a scientist, <laughs> I am not an expert, but here's what I have been able to figure out. As the stay in place orders, as the hunker down, not, not just social distancing, but like we're shutting this thing down. You have got to stay in your home, Seattle, LA, New York City, et cetera, uh, Las Vegas, I think, other cities, major cities where they're saying, shut it down. You're, you've got to stay at home. 
if, if those regional areas have, have been given that order by their local and state uh, uh, leaders, then as the, as the, I guess, I guess as, as the virus moves forward, as the tough times move forward, the rules get bent. Now, what I'm showing you, these masks that you see are not for surgery. They are not medical grade, meaning they are not those fancy N95 masks. But as I did more and more research, there are hospitals, and this was, this was on both CNN and Fox News, hospitals that are running out, even though they've been promised that the supply chain is cranking. 3M's got like millions. Well, they're on the way. They're on the way. They're not there yet. So what some nurses in several hospitals and doctors in several hospitals have literally had people doing for them is sewing these makeshift masks to put over their N95 masks so that they don't have to use as many of those. Does that make sense? Exactly now, right. for the average person um, who just wants a good mask, these are still going to be better than nothing. These are still going to keep people, if somebody sneezed on you, this mask is going to help, you know, cut back that, those, those, I don't want to say toxins, but <laughs> the, 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 the infection is not going to spread if you're wearing something like this. We're not used to this in the United States. If you go to Asia, you go to South Korea, you go to Japan, this is normal. They do this all the time, not just during a pandemic. They're literally like, duh, we've been wearing face masks for 10 years. Right. So our good friend, uh, Ryan Moore, as you see in the center picture here, who, who is you know, part of Roundnet, part of ScreenPrintingSupplies.com or ScreenPrinting.com, uh, part of Rock. Um, and uh, they have repurposed a whole bunch of all-made fabric. And they have somehow, in the matter of three days, figured out ways to create these masks. And they're donating a bunch of them. I'm sure some of them will be for sale. I know that they're something that could be printed. And I also found two other suppliers in the promotional product industry, Suida being one, Numo, N-U-M-O being another. There are probably more um, where you could do some research and find some suppliers who have blank masks. As you can see from the flyer in the lower right-hand corner, that's 100% cotton. You could easily print on that with a DTG printer. Now, you and I went back and forth yesterday talking about these masks. We did. W would you print a, co a corporate logo on that mask? I, I would, uh, I think that I myself am not going to put Terry Combs company on that mask, but I, I might uh, say to uh, some company out there, I can decorate these for you uh, and, and say something like you, you had suggested, Jay, uh, uh, we love nurses or whatever, and, um, and have that company donate them to the hospital, donate them to the, uh, the, the, yeah. uh, the uh, some, some type of uh, elderly home, that sort of thing. Exactly. Uh, and, and you're, you're just going to uh, facilitate it and Hey, we'll, we'll ship them over to you, to them. Uh, you know, it'll be a contribution from you. And Jay, you had some other examples that I hadn't thought of, uh, of folks who need these masks, but before you, you say that for anybody who doesn't know, all made apparel uh, is a, is a U.S. company, but all the manufacturing is done in Haiti and uh, they they use uh, water bottles in the in the uh, in the manufacturer. Oh, yeah. They employ lots of people at U.S. wages. It's a really really great story. So check out All Made Apparel and yeah, shout out to All Made. Shout out to our friends Beaconson and Mel. Um, you know Mel Lay, as you've gotten to know over the years, she is the marketing director now at All Made. She's absolutely connected there as our friend Ryan Moore and others. Um, so yeah, so. Shout out to All Made. I think they're calling them All Masks. I'm not sure. That's, you know, probably something. You if know, if they aren't, they should. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think they are. I think I saw that. Um, but but here, here's the point with all of these is that I, I thought of, you know, the, the easily forgotten markets. Like, for example, Child Protective Services. You know, they're in a situation where they're, they're healthcare, mental and healthcare providers, right? And they're still on the job. Right. And they're they going to run hunker out. down. They've got, they've got yeah. to go and knock on doors. That's right. Those kids are in, in crisis and they're going to go do their job. They're going to need masks. They're running out of masks. And this is what was, it was brought to my attention is how cool would it be to donate some, you know? So if we could get a few of these, they're probably going to cost us somewhere between $1.50 and $3, whether we decorate them or not, but they are 
in, in both of these cases, but Ryan, the all made apparel is, is we've printed on a bunch of those t-shirts. They print fabulously, um, hundred percent cotton in the, in the mask that you see in the suite of flyer, um, the Numo folks that are making their Numo manufacturing N U M O. Um, I, I know that those were like a, a almost like a cotton canvas, uh, product. The point is, is that we might print them and we might not. And I was trying to think of, okay, what would be an appropriate print? Well, I might say something like to, to, to R and D the, you know, you, you know, we're, we're, we're going to stick around. We're here for the long haul. So it might be patriotic. It might be something about, we love nurses. We love healthcare providers. We love you go America, stay safe, stay strong, hashtag something, right? And it, it could be tastefully decorated. It's not just going to be my logo on some mask right in front of you. That would be slightly awkward. Um, right. But, you know, you might be able to find something humorous. It might be a little too soon for the humor, although Terry and I are going to push the boundaries towards the end of this session. Um, but anyway, we, we just like to, to see the humorous side in, in all things, Jay. <laughs> People who know us know that we, we tend to not take ourselves or situations too seriously. Now, Correct. In light of what's going on, obviously, we are sensitive to the fact that there may be somebody listening whose family member is suffering or, you know, we're, we're not making light of that. We recognize that this is a serious time we're trying to figure out ideas and solutions and share those with you. And that if there are now 70 of you that have tuned in today, uh, 71, now we're down to 69. So pff, sorry, I guess they didn't like the mask idea. Um, we're trying to generate some ideas and then collectively we're going to keep brainstorming. So we're going to do this again next week, but we'll do it in a little bit of a different way. So let me, let me click to the next slide. Cause we talked a little bit about this tote bags. Tote bags of every size, of every kind, as long as we can print on them. So high cotton content or 100% cotton. I have to give credit where credit is due. I loved this print. I love the hashtag stay home. Nobody owns that, so you can use that. Um, <laughs> there is another manufacturer of very large DTG printers. And uh, the first letter is a K. And I will end with that. And that's where I saw these bags. And I just got to give a shout out to those guys. They're trying to do the same thing, which is to help their customers to come up with general ideas that you could do something like this that's appropriate. It's funny. It's not distasteful. And it's a tote bag, right? So And everybody of, needs a tote bag. <laughs> think of the applications. Yeah, well, let's get a little bit more specific. Like, like what? Everyone needs a tote bag. Like for what, Terry? Well, you know, uh, if you're uh, out west, if you're in California, for instance, uh, you, you have to bring your own bag to the grocery store and uh, uh, a lot of other things uh, that you could use it for. You know, an example would be uh, you're, you're selling T-shirts to a church. Well, guess what? That the the uh, the elderly ladies in the church don't necessarily want to want to. Uh, a t-shirt, but they, they certainly would use a tote bag for whatever. Absolutely. For, for, carry, or... <laughs> for, carrying, for carrying their scriptures of their Bible or whatever, sure. to be able to have their favorite verse on the front and maybe a, 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 a personalized with their name on it so that since several of them will have the same bag, they want to be able to make sure that, that you know they can easily identify which one is theirs. Um, it could be a fundraiser. So there's so many ways to use tote bags and of all sizes, little small ones, that are, that are great for small little work for home kits, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, but, or, or larger bags. Um, I think that we as DTG printers don't do enough tote bags. Tote bags are a very, very utilitarian, useful product, almost more so than a t-shirt. So you're, you have more useful reasons to keep a tote bag. I might not keep this tote bag forever because it's kind of funny, but I might. And if it's something that's going to just kick around in the back of my, um, you know, truck or car, you know, that's, then that, then I kept it. Right. And that's the point. Right. You know, Jay, and, and a tote bag like this would make a, a perfect way for your child to solitarily be running around your lawn looking for Easter eggs here uh, very, go. very soon. There you go. So an extension of that tote bag is this. This is much smaller. It's 100% cotton and it's printable. This is something that's going to take a little bit more creativity. But what I, why I wanted to show you this, Terry, was I wanted our, our, our watchers, our viewers, our listeners to say, oh, okay, come up with a series of items. This becomes the container or the carrier. So I might have a, a message for nurses that says, we love nurses, Phoenix rocks or something like that, or Scottsdale nurses are the world's greatest. And then I might have four or five things that I'm going to include. 
Now, if I were in our customer shoes, I would go look for that other business. I would be looking for um, uh, maybe a, a, a place uh, that sells wine. Uh, I would maybe look for a um, spa, a place that's open for spas that's, that's maybe not open right now, but trying to hunker down. And I might have a gift certificate for a massage. I might have a small bottle of wine, like, a, you know, how they have those little personal bottles that you like, Terry, you know? <laughs> Um, and I only because have, I spend a lot of time on in, in, uh, in, airplanes. in airports, <laughs> although not lately, but yeah. the, in this case, the picture is showing a, a small, a small vial of essential oils and a little jump drive. So we could play on this a hundred ways. It could be for a, a work for home kit, uh, for, for all the people that are having to stay home, employers could send something that's, that's appropriate and useful, a jump drive, uh, a little card could go inside that says, you know, 10 things to do to stay structured and focused while you're working from home and then have some essential oils or a diffuser or something else, a candle. This is the carrier of it. We have to be creative as to what the contents are. And then we have to get creative as to who the audience is, but the concept stays the same and it just moves. I could use this for nurses. I could use this for church. I could use this for teachers. Okay. You know, and, and along the lines of church, maybe, maybe there's a youth group, that that it's going to deliver these uh, these uh, survival kits uh, to the the folks in the church who are who are more at risk and and so they're going to go around and knock on doors and deliver this uh, you know from your from your church with the logo on it and of course they're going to keep that bag and use it but uh, you know just just to keep in touch just to to reach out to people hundred um, percent now along the lines of of, of food. Uh, delivery, curbside pickup, um, all of the things that are that's happening in the major cities. I know this bag is thermal insulated and I know this bag is 100% polyester, but guess what, Terry? It also comes in white. So what does that mean? That means that I can easily print it. I'm just going to use, again, light pre-treat on there, print a CMYK image, and it'll uh, it'll be beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to put this in my heat press, but I'm going to use a heat gun and uh, as you mentioned, the hardware stores are essential businesses. They're open. So go buy a heat gun. You can buy one for $20 and, and you can just uh, dry that with the, with the heat gun. And it, it doesn't have to have a perfect cure because that's, this thing is never going in the washer. That's why we have to have a great cure on t-shirts and sweatshirts and hats. And uh, because uh, you're, the customer is going to wash it, but a heat gun is going to cure this perfectly fine. And it's, it'll be permanently on there. And what a great opportunity here in Arizona, uh, as you well know, Jay, that uh, if, I, if I got a delivery from my, my local sports bar, cold beers and cheeseburgers, and it's in this bag, I'm going to keep that bag in my car because come July, when I'm trying to buy ice cream, I, I need this thermal bag <laughs> so I can get from the grocery store to my house. <laughs> and still have ice cream and not have a shake. <laughs> exactly. hundred percent agree with you. And now, now don't forget for those of you that are listening, this is an opportunity for you to show that you're the marketing maven. You're the, you're the, the smart marketer. And you're going to explain to that, that bar, that restaurant, that grocery store, that pharmacy, this is an add on. This is something that they could say, Listen, anybody, so two ways to do it. Anybody that orders anything over $50 automatically gets one of these bags, okay? Or for $10 more, Terry, you could get this bag. And this bag is something that you're going to keep and it's going to be useful. What was that smile about? You must have gotten a text or somebody said something. <laughs> I did. Ah, I knew it. It's not, not for it's not appropriate. public it's not, consumption. It's <laughs> Okay, we're being recorded. Let's be professional. 69 people are listening to us and hanging on every word. So there are lots of different styles of these. You can find these online. These are thermal insulated bags. There's all kinds of different insulation. And again, you can find them in white and it's not too difficult to, to, to get that. Now, now, did I hear you correctly? You are going to pre-treat this? Yes, I'm going to, uh, to get it to adhere to the polyester. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just spray light pre-treat on there. It's, uh, you know, light pre-treat is a, a great product from Image Armor. And you can certainly okay. get it at Equipment Zone and, and from probably any of your suppliers. And I'm but, pretty sure, by the way, I saw some of these that were blends. They were like 50-50 blends. So even, even better. Even okay. better. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm not going to get too far down the road on this. I just wanted people to see this. This is the appropriate time, I think. You know, again, be careful. Be appropriate. Don't go too far. Don't be Terry and say something you shouldn't. But 
you can come up with this, I survived the 2020 TP apocalypse. Now, of course, if you were super creative, you would have changed those zeros to rolls of toilet paper. Right. <laughs> Darren, I did, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna guess you've seen a few of these. I, I have, I have. And uh, well, my favorite one wasn't a t-shirt, but it was a, a comment on Twitter where someone said, my house was TP'd last night. My property value went up $85,000. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that. That's, I love that. That's great. <laughs> Okay, that's what we mean by trying to make fun of the situation and have a laugh. Obviously, if you have ever met Terry and I, you know that that's the case. We're not going to take it too seriously. We are going to be serious. We are sensitive, but there's a time and there will be a time. And by the way, if it feels like it's too soon for you, I don't think you've been in the apparel decoration business that right. long. You, right? You're in the wrong business if you can't see humor. <laughs> the opportunity to, for a little humor. <laughs> okay, so while we're talking about that humor... Let's go through the hall of shame. Here are a few that I have found over the last four days. Um, <laughs> I have to give a shout out to the guys in the middle. It's a lot of courage to get that picture taken. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking those Corona beers there, those, those were not the first ones they had before they took that picture. <laughs> Surviving the 2020. I can't, I mean, the fact that they have the dots, the, you know, the perforation lines <laughs> and that they cut the shirts is so great. Uh, so you, now, now you'll print those on your DTG printer and then cut them. So, <laughs> ah, okay. I was just about to ask you uh, how to do that. Okay. So don't, don't take any of these straight up, come up with your own. I love that I was social distancing before it was cool. I saw that a week ago. I mean, Etsy blew up. I mean, the day after yeah. social distancing went out, I'm, I'm an expert at social distancing. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> right. I'm the professor of social distancing, you know, like Terry, that joke about golfing. That's hilarious. It's right. a niche within a niche exactly. and people would buy that. You know that, you know, golfers uh, would. Uh, absolutely. And if you, if you're selling on Etsy, you need to be doing this right now. You do. And as well as stay strong, stay sure. at home. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, weave in some positive messages into that because you should, and we need it, right? Any absolutely. any of those there, Terry, that you want to uh, elaborate on? <laughs> I, I'm 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 all about the social distancing before it was cool because if if I'm not on an airplane, I'm working from home, so I, I I'm an, an expert at at social distancing. You, you have mastered the art. My, uh, I, I mean, I, I buy gas for my car like every three months. I, <laughs> I, I, I you know, so. Uh, I love it. Okay, so this, this is the list that we wanted everybody to take a quick peek at. Now, you're going to notice uh, on the left is the who. That's the target. These are the markets that Terry and I have done some work on. We've been, we've been going back and forth, comparing our lists and looking at other things that we found online. I want to emphasize that your job number one should be to help your top 10 customers make it. And how are you going to do that? You're going to help them market to their top 10 customers. So some of your client base maybe has gone away. Maybe they've closed, but maybe they haven't. And if you are communicating with them, if you haven't already, you're actually late. You're late to the game. So this is your kick in the pants. Call them, email them, stop by and socially distance, have a tape measure and put it out six feet and say, hey, I just wanted to come by. It's, you're so important that I got in my car and I drove down and I'm staying six feet away, but I had to see you in person because I need to know if you need anything. I'm still right. open, you're still open. What can we do together? Right, healthcare facilities. I mean, I'm not gonna read every single one of these, but you can see that there are people that are literally going through a major pickup right now. So we have to be able to find then what are those potential products that are going to make sense? Now, clearly, and Terry, feel free to jump in at any second, but you can see to, on the right-hand side, you're going to start to see some similarities. Okay, t-shirts, hats, sweats, hoodies, tote. That could apply to everyone, right? Exactly right. But Is there anything on the list that made sense to you that really jumped out that you want to talk about? Well, uh, you know, you had mentioned uh, that um, that fire the police department, uh, they, they uh, working extra shifts, uh, they, they uh, not having time to, to do dry cleaning, they're, they're out on their own buying polos with, uh, with the sheriff's department, things like that. So I, yeah. I, I took your idea, but that really, uh, that really hit home with me. When no, you, it's you not my idea. That. It was somebody, I saw that online and it made a ton of sense to me. Um, uh, we talked about these work for home kits. That's what WFH means. Um, talking about future plans. Um, I, if it were me, this is how I would operate. I'm a DTG printer. 
I'm going to look at this list and I'm going to think about the people that I want to help most. Nurses are close to home for me because I have family members, as you know, I have a sister that's a labor and delivery nurse. And I'm going to look for a way to find somebody on this list to help that other group on this list. And I become the facilitator in the middle. So if I know that there are food delivery services and, and, and convenience stores and restaurants that are doing really well right now, even with carry out, even with curbside, by Domino's Pizza, Pizza Hut, they, they're, they, they cannot make pizzas fast enough right now. Okay. So how could I get that company to then create a kit, a, a, a thank you kit, a, a we got your back kit for right. those healthcare providers, for that church, for that EMT, for that police, especially at a local level. You know, I want to be the facilitator to create something that then is the carrier of that pizza or that bottle of wine or hand sanitizer or you know, th does that make sense? I'm trying to look for these common ways that I could connect these two um, so that I'm not necessarily donating these. In fact, I, I, I might do that on a small scale because it's the right thing to do or I'm in a position to do it. But for the most part, I'm trying to help keep my business open. I'm sure. trying to make sure I can make my payroll. And, and to your point earlier in this session, if I need to make $1,000 today or this week or whatever my nut is, and I got to cover that. I'm thinking, how do I print five shirts today? How do I print 50 shirts today? And these are where I would go to that tech company or that construction company and say, listen, I understand that right now, you, you know, you're probably not thinking about apparel, but we've been doing business together for three years. And you know what? I'm just going to be transparent with you. I'm barely making it. If there's any way you could order what you normally ordered in the fall, but order it now, I would be so grateful because that means I can keep my presses running. You know, you're just going to have to be sincere and real and transparent with people. So, Jay, we have gone a full hour. Yeah, so, so you know uh, what? You know what we need to do? See if we have any questions. We need to see if we have any questions. So I'm going to stop sharing this right now, and I'm going to go back to just us. If I can figure this out, if I can figure this out, it would be really easy. So let's do that. Save and let's go back to just us. All right. Very good. Okay. We are perfectly aligned for this and we have some questions. Let me go back first through the chats. So we can see if we've got some things in there. Okay. Uh, what training book are you talking about? When we were talking about the training book, what is the official title of that Photoshop training for DTG? I can't remember. If Dane is still here, if he could share. I Dane, can, uh... what is the name of that book? Tell us what that is and I'll give it another shout out. Um, my small logo may work so that breathing is not obstructing. A small logo may work so that breathing is not obstructing. Good point. Um, could, could. And, and Dane has responded, artwork for DTG printing. And it's available through equipmentzone.com or also. We got uh, an OMG from Amy. I'm not sure what that is about. I have an Epson F2000. Can I compete with the F2100? You absolutely can. Here's the difference. Uh, the, the 2100 is about 35% faster. It does auto cleaning. But other than that, it's the same ink system. It's the same platens. It's the same software running it. it, it it's just um, what Epson did was they, they went in and, and tweaked a few things. Again, faster auto cleaning, that sort of thing. But, but your, your F2000 will certainly do, do the job just as well. Awesome. Well said. Let me check here. Uh, someone said they would like information on YouTube. Are we? Uh, yeah. Okay. So this session is being recorded and we will post this on YouTube. All of you who are listening now, please become subscribers of our YouTube page. That way you're automatically notified anytime we upload anything and add any new content to our YouTube page. Um, visit us, go to YouTube, type in equipment zone and you'll see our channel. Um, so this will be there as well as yesterday's sublimation uh, webinar. Uh, here's another question from Rick Davis. He says, hi, would you please email the author of the nail? <laughs> it's back to that book. Okay. Uh, Dane, apparently this is a popular book. We're uh, getting lots of shout outs here. I love that um, in their downtime. Uh, Mike asked if we're going to have a detailed video anytime soon for the shoe platen process. That's not a question I can answer, but Terry, maybe you can take a shot. Um, I, we, we certainly are looking at doing some, uh, some additional uh, training type videos. So we will uh, uh, keep your eyes open. There is a, there is a, a short video on the Equipment Zone site, but uh, 
but we will take that under advisement and see if we can't put that together for you. Harry has answered yes. So we will be making a list of some of those detailed videos like Mike has requested. The shoe platen and that process would be one of those. So that's awesome. Um, I'm doing a lot of videos next week because we are also trying to keep our staff busy. We are also sharpening our blades and our videos and training are one of the areas we've identified where we can make a difference for people. So we're going to do that. Okay. Well, that was great. Uh, not too many questions. That's okay. We had quite a few folks tuned in today. Um, we're grateful for that. So folks are kind of starting to bail because they know we're wrapping up. Is there anything you want to close with, Terry? Hey, just uh, if you have questions along the way, please don't hesitate to, to call. Uh, you can call, reach me 800-408-0040, or you can email me at Terry, T-E-R-R-Y, at equipmentzone.com. Excellent. Well, from all of us at Equipment Zone, we hope that you stay safe, uh, that these smart marketing tips will make a difference in your business. If there's something that you think about or if you have success with any of these ideas, we would love to hear about that. That would be something that where we could profile you, maybe do a quick interview with you. So if we have somebody that wants to participate with us next week, um, we're trying to make that available. Probably we'll do this on Thursday, right? Because I think, Terry, you have a commitment on Friday. Correct. So and then uh, there's another video or another uh, uh, session on Monday of, uh, of direct printing. That's true. So I was just going to close with that. So thank you. Why don't you tell everybody what's going on on Monday? Well, on Monday, uh, we're going to be printing. Uh, we, you and uh, Jeff <laughs> and Roy are going to be uh, printing a variety of different, uh, different products uh, on the, on camera and answering questions uh, for folks and, and, uh, we're also looking at doing a, a video for the most common questions people ask about direct-to-garment printing. And we're going to be not only answering those questions, but physically showing you how to do this and that. And, and so we'll, we're compiling those questions right now. Perfect. Uh, an anonymous attendee has asked, does Equipment Zone sell a shoe platen? And the answer is yes. Visit our website. And then Rick Davis has asked, is it possible to modify or upgrade the F2000 to perform auto cleaning? Uh, it was my very first question when the F2100 uh, was, uh, was introduced, and no, you cannot uh, modify it to do that. All right, excellent. So thank you for that. I did not know the answer, and now I do. All right, Rick, so if you need to uh, reach out to our support team, if you have other questions like that, that's who would probably be best suited to field those questions and give you a quick answer. So give us a call or email us at support at equipmentzone.com. That's the right support Correct. email, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. support at... Um, and that's it. So thank you from everybody who tuned in. We appreciate that. Thank you, Terry, for your time. Um, we're grateful for you carving this out. And I hope everybody uh, enjoyed our smart marketing. Um, and that's all I've got. So saying goodbye from Arizona. All right. Very good. See you next week. See you next week.